Okay, so I want to show you find and replace here in Word. I'm using it on a Mac here. I'm going to do a version for Windows because although essentially they're the same, they're a bit different in how they look and the layout and so on. So I'm just going to do it so that you can get started with find and replace. And you can do things like just find. And then you can also do find and replace. So if you want to find a particular word or phrase, I'm going to show you how to do that and how to replace it. But you'll also see here, I've got things like this one here, the characters that's in bold and wildcards that's in italics. And you can find based on a font or style as well and other special characters. So just so you know, aside from doing another one on the Windows version, there's also Excel as well, where you can use find and replace. And I use that a lot because I use it like a database. So let's get started here. So what I'm going to do first is find, and I can do that just by using the keyboard shortcut Command F, and it brings up find in document. So if I want to look for a word such as Excel, I can do that, type it in, press enter, and you'll see it goes to that word there. It's gonna scroll up a bit here. You can see it's highlighted them as well, so I can then move through. And as I start moving through, it's gonna show you how many and which one you're on. So it's showing me that I'm on one of three. So that's the first one here highlighted. And if I move through, I can go forward and I can go backwards as well. So I can do that, that's easy to do. And you can see it wasn't case sensitive there. If I wanna clear it, I can just click on that X there. Now, if I want more advanced features, I can click here on these ellipses here, these three dots where it says more options when I hover over it. And if I do, I can then choose something like list matches in the sidebar, which is gonna pop up or replace. So choosing either one of those and this sidebar is going to appear here. Now I could have gone to that just, I'm just gonna close it. I could have gone to it just by clicking on edit and going to find and then replace here and it would come up with that as well. Now, whilst we're there, I just want to show you, if I go into edit and go to find, I've got find next and find previous. Now this works if you've already done a find. So I did Excel, so if I do find next, you're going to see it goes through and I could use the keyboard shortcut there for you know, command G and find previous, which is shift command G. So I could also go back. So just so you know, if you haven't searched anything, that's not going to work. Okay, so what do we see here in this sidebar? We've got the find and replace. So I'm just gonna do a straightforward one. I'm just gonna do Excel. I did it with the capital E, I didn't have to. And again, I could just do find along here. And the thing you're gonna notice is down here on the sidebar, it's showing me the list and you could just click on them here because it's giving you the list of them. Okay. So what if I wanted to replace them? Well, I'm going to change it to Microsoft Excel rather than just Excel. And by using replace, it will replace just the one that it has found at that time. So it's this one here. Let's do that. Okay. I'm just going to undo it because the other option, and I just did Command Z for that, is replace all. So let me just do, I've got to type that in again. Let's make sure I don't do a typo like I just did. So Microsoft Excel, if I do replace all, it's gonna go and change all of them. And it tells you, all done, we made three replacements. So you know how many it has actually done there. So there you go, that's how you can use it. Now, because I did Microsoft Excel, because I had Excel before, and then I did a replace, and it did. I did it just on the one word, Microsoft Excel. It's actually done it again, because I didn't get rid of it. So over here, it had Excel. I told it to replace with Microsoft Excel. And then when I did it again, I told it to replace Excel, all of them, so it's put an extra one in. So just be a bit careful on things like that. So I just deleted it. I just double clicked on the word Microsoft there to delete and then press delete. Okay, let's just get rid of what I've got there. Now you could do things like get rid of spaces and things like that, special characters and so on, 
So you could look for a tab character if your characters and things were visible. You can look for hyphens, section breaks, white space. So there are the spaces in there. So if I did that and went find, you can see all the gaps. So you could go and get rid of them if you wanted, or you could add in an extra space. Let's just see what happens if I added in more. So let's just see, wow, it's just put a lot of replacements in there. I don't like that. Let's undo it. So let's also undo all of that because that's not great. But if you were using things like this to make paragraph marks visible, you could actually go and find the paragraph character. So you could go through and find them. Okay, but we're not going to do that here. We are going to go to this little settings just underneath. And let's go to advanced find and replace. Now it comes up with the dialog box. Let's just get rid of what's in that find there. You can do things like match case. So you know before I did Excel and I didn't worry about the case. Well, if I tick that, it's going to match the case. You might only have part of a word. By doing find whole words, it will find only the whole word. You can do wildcards as well. So if you want to, I could just do say help and then put a question mark or an asterisk in there and it will look for, you'll see I've got over here, you can see helpful and you've also got helps. So if I did, let's just do find all, you'll see it's finding those there for you. And you could have done it with a question mark as well. So let's just do find, let's just unclick those. Let's go find next. And you'll see it will go through and find it as well. So the wildcards are useful as well. You've got other options here that you can try out, like, you know, find all word forms, sounds like, and so on. We could spend a lot of time going through all of these. But I just want to clear that. I'm just going to scroll up so you can see there. Down at the bottom, you've got find and you can do things like format. Next to it is special. That's the same as what we saw a moment ago with all the different sort of special characters that you could find as well. Okay, so format, you could go in here. I could go into font. I could then choose anything that is bold. Let's click on OK. Find next. So it was probably at the beginning. Let's just find next again. And there you go. It's now done. It actually, it was at the top as well. It did the find and replace. So it kind of moves forward through the document. So let me just click back here. Still says over here, font bold. Find next. And you can see it's done it. I could, let me just go to format, go to it there. I can now choose italic because I've got wildcards in italic. And you can see it's chosen it there. So this gives you an idea of the sorts of things you can do. If you want to clear the formatting option, you just click here on no formatting and you're done. Now this works very similarly in the Word version in Windows, but I'm going to show you that in a separate one. So that's how you can do find and replace. Just bear in mind sometimes, like let's say I wanted to change something here, like help to something else. If I don't do the match whole word, it would change that and potentially that as well, which might actually not be that useful. So, because you might only want helpful changed or something like that. Okay, so there you go. That's, that's what you can do with find and replace. If you're interested, you can have a look at the one with Windows as well. So don't forget also doing one on Excel. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more.